Hey, this is Brian with King Grizzly, and today I want to show you how to put rich content into Elementor tabs. And what I mean by that, and some of you probably encountered this, is you want to use a tab layout, um, but you don't want necessarily the same content in every tab, or you want something unique. Uh, but by default, tabs mostly just let you put in some pretty straightforward text and pictures. So I want to show you how we achieve this effect um, on a client site. Um, so we'll hop over to our sandbox and I'm going to go find those tabs. I guess they're called tabs. Yeah, tabs, here they are. So we drop them in. Now they're inheriting a little bit of styles from our theme, um, but you should get something, you know, like this with these tabs on the, on the left and the right. And as you can see by default, yeah, you could stick in a, an image picture you could I guess write some HTML if you really wanted to but sometimes clients want to be able to mess with stuff themselves and the visual builders handy so what we want to do is figure out how could we put something unique inside these tabs so I'm gonna go over to my uh, templates so over here to templates I'm just gonna add a new one and I'll call it a section I'm just gonna give it a name like tabs um, I'll just call it demo. So this would be like demo tab one. We'll try to come up with some rich content to put in here. And then basically build whatever it is we want to put in there. Um, let me see if I can show this as a, let's see. Okay, well you can disregard the header and footer. Those won't show up. So I'm gonna add a section. Let's just say <clears throat> I wanted two columns and do that. Maybe on the right column here, I want something like an image gallery. So I'll drop that over here. Basically build whatever it is I can dream up. So I'll go to the media library. I'm just going to grab some random case study screenshots for fun. Create a new gallery. Sure, looks great. Um, of course, I could style this in a way that looks Pretty good. Maybe on the left, I want a heading. I love cats. And just adjust sort of as you would um, to get the effect you want. I could even put in an intersection if I wanted, but um, this looks pretty good. Now, one thing to think about is this has padding, this section already, so this padding will come over into my tabs. So that's something I'll need to think about. But for now, I'm just going to publish this. And then um, if I go back to my templates, there should be a short code for that. See that? So just grab that short code. Let's go. We may need a refresh. Let's go back to the page we're building to tab one. I'm going to pop that short code in there. We'll see if this works. Okay, so I'm going to preview that. Look at that. Pretty cool, huh? So that's how you can do it. You can build whatever you want and put it in these tabs using a short code. The gallery functionality is still there. Super slick, fun way to use this tabs feature. As you can imagine, you're kind of only limited by your imagination. And you can, of course, style for tablet and mobile here in the template, right? So I could stack these if I wanted to. Maybe I want to make this column 100% wide for tablet. Same with this second one here. So short codes. I'm imagining you could potentially put other types of short codes in there as well. So pretty nifty trick. Hopefully that's useful. We will keep rolling out cool Elementor handy content. Please consider subscribing to our YouTube and don't hesitate to send us your comments or questions or suggestions. All right. Hope you have a good day.